Milk, we can't guarantee. Cheese is bad, don't disagree. Butter, you like high key. Forced to be dairy free. Hey folks, welcome back to Forced to be Dairy Free, week two, episode two. Today, we will be making chicken taco bowls. Exactly, chicken taco bowls. Yes. Really easy, really quick. Yeah. Nothing overly inventive here. Uh, the first thing, if you remember from episode one from week two, is I, go, I went ahead and I told you to marinate the chicken if you could. So I marinated one pound of chicken in uh, three quarters cup or half a cup, sorry, of orange juice and a quarter cup of lime juice. So I had it marinated for 24 hours. My other ingredients I have, I have my taco bowls. This is the most expensive part other than the chicken of the recipe. Of course, you don't need to do the taco bowls. You can get flour tortillas because yeah. this is dinner on a budget to yes. save a little bit of money. I have my favorite taco sauce along with Cameron's favorite. A can of black beans, some smoked paprika, some chili powder, and I have the ancho chili pepper, which has just a little bit more kick to it. Some cumin. I have a quarter of a red onion here. I have three quarters of a cup of cilantro, and then one green pepper in here. I already have one tablespoon of the plant butter cooking right here, and I have the water starting to boil here for two cups of the instant white rice. And outside, I have the grill ready to be able to cook the chicken. The first thing I'm going to do that oh, that butter is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put this green onion in. And Cameron, I'm going to ask you to keep an eye on the water for the rice. Okay. Make sure it doesn't boil over on me while I do this. So I'm going to add some salt to my chicken. I let this after it marinated. I went ahead and I put it over the sink and I let it drain and dried it out a little bit, had it dry. Now I'm going to get a smoked paprika. I'm going to cover it really well with the smoked paprika. And I'm going to get the ancho chili pepper. Again, I'm going to do that pretty heavy dose of that. those two things there and then go ahead and mix it together on this chicken get good and covered the orange juice and the lime juice do a good job of breaking down the chicken and making it nice and tender when I grill it now that's so real quick I'm going to wash my hands so I'm going to get on some more things get everyone entertained while I wash my hands what? Entertain while I wash my hands. Is that entertainment? <laughs> oh goodness. Um, okay. What's the banana say to the orange? Banana orange. Uh, <laughs> crickets. Crickets. Crickets from the crowd. All right. So I have this spray olive oil. It's really going over here. If you don't have this, I always recommend keeping this in the cabinet. I'm going to have this it's good on my grill anyway to get that oil so the chicken doesn't stick to the grill surface. Dad? So that's going. I have my water boiling there. I'm going to add my rice. I'm going to go ahead and add my three quarters cup of cilantro and my one green pepper. I'm going to scrape that cilantro down in there. Okay. And give that a mix. This needs to be off for five minutes, right? Instant five minute rice. To be able to sit for longer than that, it's gonna be able to sit for 10 minutes, which is just fine and dandy. I'm gonna add my black beans that I drained yep. to my red onion. And I had that, that onion on medium high. I'm gonna let it turn down just a smidge to medium. I'm going to add just about half a teaspoon of cumin. I'm going to add another half a teaspoon or so of salt. And then I forgot pepper. I have to have pepper. Come on, Dad. Get with it. Couple, thank you. A couple cracks of pepper. 
So I have that sitting and now I'm going to take a brief break and you're going to come follow me to the grill. All right, I have my grill preheated. I have it to, I closed the lid and got it to 450 degrees here. I use a charcoal grill. Uh, if you have a different type of grill, I'm sure you know how to use it to cook appropriately. For me, I'm going to cook this five minutes on each side, which will be enough. These are just tender cuts. You can see pretty small cuts. So it's not going to take too much. So I'm going to cook that five minutes on each side. I'm going to let the beans cook 10 minutes. And the rice will be in there 10 minutes and then we'll be all done and be right back with you. All right, so the chicken has cooked 10 minutes. I will let you know on the beans, I did turn those down uh, to low. They were getting a little too hot too quick. So about five minutes in, I turned those down to low. I'm gonna dice up this chicken real quick. We're down to the home stretch. And I'll say, uh, it's very pretty. Yes. See the nice fresh hint to it. Muy delicioso. It tastes, it'll taste even better than it looks. Muy, muy delicioso? Yeah, I promise. Do you know what that means? No. <laughs> no, I got an A in Spanish 1 and Spanish 2. Thanks to Brianna. Beep. So, Brianna, thank you. I feel bad about that, but I will say my Spanish teacher wasn't even there for the last month of class, so I don't feel that bad. If she didn't show up, why did I didn't show up? All right, so the chicken's all done. Toss that in the sink. I'm gonna go ahead and plate Cameron's dish. Yay! I have the rice right here. I am gonna add just a dash of the lime juice. See what are. Very nice. You can see the beautiful color there, the peppers and the cilantro with the rice. I don't need to overfill this. We have plenty of these bowls. I'm gonna add a little bit of the beans with the red onions. I gave that a little sneak taste and it is very flavorful and delicious. You don't need any cheese on this to make it a tasty dish. And then add the chicken to the top. And if you want to add some other things to your, to your dish, you're welcome to. Add some more cilantro on top. Maybe some avocado. Usually we'd have avocado, but Avocados were overpriced for us this week, so I said no way, Jose, on that one. Cameron likes the hot sauce that I like, so I'm going to top it with there. And there is the beautiful dish. Cameron, will show it off? Alrighty, yes. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, this. very pretty. Yes. So to prep for tomorrow, we're going to have the Ben Pho soup. So I'm going to have my venison steak, and you might have your venison, you might have your other steak. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my refrigerator tonight. So tomorrow when I'm ready to cook, it'll be slightly frozen to where I can slice it really thin because slicing really thin is the key to tomorrow's dish. Key. All righty. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell so you get notified every time we post a video. Bye, guys. Bye.